This list of ancient Greek temples covers temples built by the Hellenic people from the 6th century BC until the 2nd century AD on mainland Greece and in Hellenic towns in the Aegean Islands, Asia Minor, Sicily and Italy, wherever there were Greek colonies, and the establishment of Greek culture. Ancient Greek architecture was a very regular form, the construction being post and lintel. There are three clearly defined styles, the Doric order, found throughout Greece, Sicily and Italy, the Ionic order, from Asia Minor, with examples in Greece, and the more ornate Corinthian order, used initially only for interiors, becoming more widely used during the Hellenistic period from the 1st century BC onwards and used extensively by Roman architects. Each ancient Greek temple was dedicated to a specific god within the pantheon and was used in part as a storehouse for votive offerings. Unlike a church, the interior space was not used as a meeting place, but held trophies and a large cult statue of the deity. Terminology Most ancient Greek temples were rectangular, and were approximately twice as long as they were wide, with some notable exceptions such as the enormous temple of Olympian Zeus, Athens with a length of nearly two and a half times its width. A number of surviving temple-like structures are circular, and are referred to as tholos. The smallest temples are less than 25 meters approximately 75 feet in length, or in the case of the circular tholos, in diameter. The great majority of temples are between 30 to 60 meters approximately, 100 to 200 feet in length. A small group of Doric temples, including the Parthenon, are between 60 to 80 meters approximately, 200 to 260 feet in length. The largest temples, mainly Ionic and Corinthian, but including the Doric temple of the Olympian Zeus, Agrigento, were between 90 to 120 meters approximately, 300 to 390 feet in length. The temple rises from a stepped base or stylobate, which elevates the structure above the ground on which it stands. Early examples, such as the Temple of Zeus, Olympia, have two steps, but the majority, like the Parthenon, have three, with the exceptional example of the Temple of Apollo, Didyma, having six. The core of the building is a masonry built, naos, within which is a cella, a windowless room originally housing the statue of the god. The cella generally has a porch or proneus before it, and perhaps a second chamber or antinaos serving as a treasury or repository for trophies and gifts. The chambers were lit by a single large doorway, fitted with a wrought iron grill. Some rooms appear to have been illuminated by skylights, on the stylobate, often completely surrounding the naos, stand rows of columns. Each temple is defined as being of a particular type, with two terms, one describing the number of columns across the entrance front, and the other defining their distribution, examples, Distyle in Antis describes a small temple with two columns at the front, which are set between the projecting walls of the Proneus or porch, like the temple of Nemesis at Romnus, see left, figure 1. Amphiprostyle Tetrastyle describes a small temple that has columns at both ends which stand clear of the naos. Tetrastyle indicates that the columns are four in number, like those of the temple on the Ilysis in Athens, figure 4. Peripteral hexastyle describes a temple with a single row of peripheral columns around the naos, with six columns across the front, like the Thessian in Athens, figure 7. Peripteral octastyle describes a temple with a single row of columns around the naos, figure 7, with eight columns across the front, like the Parthenon, Athens, figs, 6 and 9. Dipteral dicastyle describes the huge temple of Apollo at Didyma, with the naos surrounded by a double row of columns, figure 6, with ten columns across the entrance front. The temple of the Olympian Zeus, Agrigento, is termed pseudo periteral heptastyle, because its encircling colonnade has pseudo columns that are attached to the walls of the naos, figure 8. Heptastyle means that it has seven columns across the entrance front. Note, precise measurements are not available for all buildings. Some have foundations that are intact and have been well surveyed so that the dimensions can be stated with accuracy. For others the size can only be estimated from scant remains. In these cases, in converting, measurements are stated to the nearest whole number. Some measurements may have been made originally in feet, converted to meters for publication, and converted back to feet for this article, with slight differences from some older publication. 
Topic the list sorting behavior by column hash towns alphabetical order towns by region a Greece B Turkey C Italy D Italy Sicily by coordinates by the deity's name by date by area size by temple style 1 Doric 2 Doric with Ionic or Corinthian elements 3 Ionic 4 Corinthian topic see also ancient Greek architecture ancient Greek temple list of Greek mythological figures art in ancient Greece Greek culture list of Greco-Roman roofs list of ancient architectural records Greek technology Greek theatre topic References topic Bibliography Major source for this list, Bannister Fletcher, A History of Architecture on the Comparative Method, 17th edition, revised by R. A. Cottingley, Athlone Press, 1963 Chapter 3, Greek Architecture, pp. 89–165 Additional references, references Boardman, John Greek Art. Thames and Hudson. ISBN 0-500-18036-9. Boardman, John, Dorig, Jose, Fuchs, Werner, Hermer, Max The Art and Architecture of Ancient Greece. London, Thames and Hudson. Truen Copplestone Editor, Lloyd, Rice, Linton, Boyd, Cardin, Rawson, Jacobus, World Architecture, An Illustrated History, Paul Hamlin, 1968, Seton Lloyd, Chapter 1, Ancient and Classical Architecture William Bell Dinsmore, William James Anderson, The Architecture of Ancient Greece, An Account of Its Historic Development, Biblo and Tannen, 1973 ISBN 0-8196-0283-3 Bannister Fletcher, A History of Architecture on the Comparative Method Method 2001. Elsevier Science and Technology. ISBN 0-7506-2267-9. Helen Gardner, Fred S. Kleiner, Kristen J. Mamiya, Gardner's Art Through the Ages. Thomson Wadsworth, 2004 ISBN 0-15-505090-7. Marion Moffat, Michael Fazio, Lawrence Wodehouse, A World History of Architecture, Lawrence King Publishing, 2003, ISBN 1-85669-353-8. Donald E. Strong, The Classical World, Paul Hamlin, London, 1965, ISBN 978-0-600-02302-9. Henri Stirlin, Greece, From Mycenae to the Parthenon, Toshin, 2004, ISBN 978-3-8228-1226-6.